Hi, welcome to this week's video. My name is Paul. So this week, um, this is actually the only painting I did this week. Um, I didn't have a chance to do any other paintings or drawings. I was busy with some writing projects, which is good. I enjoy writing as well. It's something I've got into more this year. Um, it helps to bring in a little bit of money as well, which is good. But sometimes it does mean I'm busy and I don't have time to do art. I used to live uh, in Japan, mostly in Tokyo. I lived there for about nine or ten years and then I moved further south to um, another area of Japan called Kansai and I lived on the outskirts of a city called Kobe. But Tokyo, um, living in Tokyo, it's a very big city. It's big both in terms of physical size, but also in terms of the number of people who live there. And it's surrounded by other cities. Um, for example, south of Tokyo, you have Kawasaki and Yokohama, and then sort of north east of Tokyo, there's places like Chiba, but if you're in central Tokyo and you get on a train and you start heading south and you head to Kawasaki, it's not as though, usually you think of um, a train or car journey between cities. You're in the city center and then you're in the suburbs and then you're out of the city, maybe in some rural area. And then you start going back into the suburbs of the new city and then into the city center itself. If you're traveling from central Tokyo to Kawasaki, that doesn't happen. There's no, there are suburbs, but there's no um, rural space between the two. Basically, there's a river, the Tama River. And once you cross that, you cross from Tokyo into Kawasaki. But if you didn't know that, it's just one big concrete jungle. Um, there's nowhere, there's no green, there is, well, I say there's no green. An example, I used to live one part of Tokyo. I'm not going to say where I live, but the, there was a small uh, park for children and it had, you know, like swings and slides and all of those sorts of things that children's parks have. It was quite small and it was underneath a huge, I don't know what they're called, flyover or an elevated um, road or street quite a busy four lane highway really. But this little park was just a concrete park, but they painted it green. So they painted the concrete green. Um, and that to me is an image that just sort of sums up living in Tokyo in the concrete jungles. But I guess what I'm trying to say is um, in Japan, um, of course, you have Buddhist temples and you can go and stay at some of these Buddhist temples and do maybe a weekend retreat or a week long retreat where you, they will teach you some things about say Buddhism and they will teach you about um, meditation. So anyway, I decided to go off and do one of these courses one time and if nothing else, I thought at least it'll get me out of the city for a couple of days or so. And the temple was in sort of hills near the mountains, lots of forests around it, um, lots of nature and things, so very relaxing. But I found that meditation just, I don't know why, maybe I needed more time or something, but it didn't work for me. It didn't, didn't really do anything for me. But some of the ideas I think I get from art. So when I'm painting, it's a good chance to sort of slow down and think on just one thing. So when I'm painting, I'm really just focused on the shapes, the colors, making marks on the paper. And I'm not really thinking or worrying about all the things that, you know, we spend our time and our days here on earth 
all these things that we tend to fill our heads with, all these little worries and thoughts and things like that. When I'm doing art, all of that disappears and I'm focused just on the artwork. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, even if you only get a chance once a week, 30, 40 minutes to spend on art, it can be beneficial. I think it can be beneficial for our mental health and maybe even our physical health. It's a chance to just sort of slow down and maybe give the blood pressure a chance to uh, lower as well. So in terms of this actual painting, again, I was there was no reference or anything. The idea was I wanted the foreground of the painting to be a bit more abstract and the idea of this is the edge of a field, it's more natural, and then you have a bit of a hedgerow and then the field itself in the background. So the bottom part of the painting, that's why I'm doing all of this flicking of paint and scratching and things. I'm trying to create a more abstract, more chaotic feel to it. Okay, so this is then the final painting. I said the foreground, the bottom part of the painting is quite chaotic and quite abstract. But I wanted to get that feeling of something that's more natural, maybe on the edge of a field. The field itself, that middle part of the painting, is much less chaotic, more controlled. It's something that interests me, how as humans we work with the planet that we live on, and how we control nature and things. And then you have the sky as well. So overall I was happy with it and I was especially happy to have at least the chance to, to do some painting and to create something. Okay, if you'd like to subscribe just click on the big red button below and hopefully see you in next week's video.